The original Star Wars trilogy used to be pretty hot shit, but now it's Lord of the Rings' turn. Adam thinks Lord of the Rings is better than Star Wars. I find his lack of faith disturbing. Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas, Frodo, Fat Rudy, Agent Smith with long hair, Saruman, Sauron, this list goes on and on to the break of dawn. There's no question, Lord of the Rings has the ultimate cast. You can't really tell me that the Lord of the Rings cast is better than Star Wars. It starred Elijah Wood in The Kid from the Goonies. Star Wars has one of the most memorable casts in movie history. It was the making of Harrison Ford's career as Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, Yoda. If Corey's honestly gonna debate with me that Yoda, a uh, walking Muppet baby, is more realistic than Gollum, or even a better character, he's got another thing coming. Troubled Adam sounds. A healthy dose of the force he needs. Okay, first off, I don't know what the fuck that just was. That was a terrible impression. It sounded like a cross between Arnold and Kermit the Frog. Secondly, no point was made there. What I'm getting at, Smeagol slash Gollum, perfectly fleshed out character. He's got the yin and the yang. He's in a crossroads between his personalities. I feel like Adam brushed over Liv Tyler a little bit in Lord of the Rings, and I know why. She is basically only there to cry. I can only imagine what it's like to live with her. Hey, I'm gonna uh, step out and go hunting here. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you okay where you're at? Oh my god, you're crying again. Um, I don't know what to do. Hey, I actually found a, a, a real cool Christmas tree. I think we can cut it down, put some lights on it, you know, have a nice little uh, fire. Oh my god, you're crying again. Um, what did I say? Darth Vader's intimidating, talking through a scuba mask. But the real villain? Sauron. Why Sauron? Because he's always watching, looking, lingering. You dare test the power of the dark side? Spying, gazing. <laughs> Oh my god, was that necessary? Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine, the two greatest villains in sci-fi history, period. When it comes to story, nothing beats an original tale meant to be a movie. Lord of the Rings was an adaptation of a great book to turn into a 12-hour nature walk through New Zealand. It's basically a special on PBS. Gandalf, yes, this way. If you look over here, you'll see the Eye of Sauron. It's quite a treat. He's constantly watching and you know, you'll, you'll beat up and sweat because of the fiery eyes and everything. We also have some birds, uh, one of Saruman's many spies. Yes, they're two different people, Sauron and Saruman. Hey, just follow along. We, we have a long ways to go. We have extended edition here. Star Wars was great when I was a kid, and it's still a fun little flick, but I've grown up, and now I need something more mature to tickle my a battle between good and evil, light side and dark side, the symbolism in Star Wars is unmatched even today. Every single scene had a purpose to the movie. I didn't feel like I was waiting around for anything. Frodo is shouldered with a terrible burden, the greatest burden of all outside of having children, and that's destroying the one ring to rule them all. With just a small little band of misfits, they have to go through forests, ravines, hills and plains and creeks and valleys and it's basically everything New Zealand has to offer. You can find it all in the uh, tourism brochure called Lord of the Rings. If you come with me a little further on the tour, you'll see Legolas up there firing some arrows. Ah, yeah, he's actually a douche, but you know, he could kill you with one shot. So let's be cool, let's be cool. We'll be, we're, we're cool here. <laughs> when I watch Star Wars, I know inside that none of the main characters are gonna die. They're all gonna save the world at the end of the day. Lord of the Rings, however, if you hadn't read the book like me because I'm illiterate, you would know that anything goes. And that's what I loved about it. At any moment, a key character can just die. A key example that comes to mind is when Gandalf gets taken down by the Balrog. Only to come back to life like Frosty the Snowman, because nobody in the Lord of the Rings ever dies. How about Obi-Wan Kenobi giving himself up to teach Luke a lesson in the lightsaber duel with him and Vader? Go back and watch that. It's the equivalent of two guys shaking hands with lightsabers. I've seen better sword fighting in a men's bathroom with a complete stranger. I'm referring to penis interaction. From the story to the special effects, Lord of the Rings owes Star Wars for everything. You shall not pass! Somebody better call 3M, because the effects in Star Wars don't hold up. 3M is an adhesive company. Whoa, we're gonna 
LOTR, on the other hand, LOTR, short for Lord of the Rings, seamlessly combines CGI and realistic props to make one cohesive film. In the effects category, there was nothing before Star Wars. Larry Cuba actually wrote the 3D technology for the filming of Star Wars. The same technology Ridley Scott used two years later in Alien. So I think what Corey's getting at is, although we really respect what George Lucas did, it looks like shit today. The sound effects were just amazing in Star Wars. Everything from the R2-D2 noises to even Moss Eisley's Cantina songs. I'm gonna do something I've never done before, and that's give Cory Wan Kenobi a win in a category, and that's for music. Lord of the Rings has fantastic music. It's some of the best music around, but Star Wars has been ramming that shit down my ear for the last 30 plus years, so you know what? It's gonna win. I've stated my case, and now I've come to you at the turn of the tide to make yours for me, and that is that Lord of the Rings is the superior film. It's the superior franchise. Look what George Lucas has done over the years to Star Wars. Do you want to leave that with your, your kids to see, or do you want to show them something good, something memorable, something that lasts? That's Lord of the Rings. Star Wars is one of the most well-rounded sci-fi slash fantasy trilogies in the history of movies. It stood the test of time. Up against a bunch of other trilogies like Matrix and Lord of the Rings, it still holds up. Search your feelings, Movie Feuds viewers. You know this to be true. Why are you crying? I feel like I need to end this relationship right now. This is not working for me. Hey, we're going to the Shire to get some... Oh, fuck. She's crying still, isn't she? Yeah, that's she's all she still does. crying. This is what she Stop! does. Stop! She just says, she's been there for what, 12 hours now? Yeah, that's all she does. I was talking to her dad the other day. She's just an awful individual. Mm -hmm. I mean, her dad, Steve. Steven you know, Tyler. Steve Tyler. Yeah. Yeah.